This video is sponsored by DistroKid, and this is my dad, CloudCord. What's up everybody, I'm CloudCord. Thanks for checking out my video today. We're gonna to be talking about how Zoom and Ableton Live, or any DAW for that matter, do not play well together when you're attempting to share your computer screen. As soon as you do that, you get about a third of a second of latency, which is a non-starter if you're attempting to play live instruments or MIDI controllers. I wanna give a shout out to my good friend Seraphin Sanchez at Ableton who gave me some of these tips and tricks. And if you're new to this channel, I make guitar videos, live looping videos, and Ableton Live production tips and tricks. So be sure to subscribe, hit that like button on this particular video so it can move up in the algorithms and I can help more people. Let's go. Okay, so check it out. I'm in a Zoom call. I haven't shared my screen yet, so it's pretty easy for me to do live audio without any issues. <laughs> Same with my push. Now if I go to share my screen, share sound, you have to have that selected. You can do stereo, high fidelity, select your app. We have one more step. We have to go to audio preferences, insides live, and select the zoom audio device. And now notice the difference. A lot of latency, totally unusable, so let's talk about a solution. All right, hold up real quick. I know that my daughter mentioned in the beginning of this video that it was sponsored by DistroKid, so let's talk about what is DistroKid. DistroKid is a service that musicians use to put their music into online stores and streaming services. These include iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, and many, many more. One of my favorite things about DistroKid is the automatic revenue splits. As many of you know, I do a lot of collaboration Collaborations, and I love that we tell them ahead of time what the percentages are and they take care of all the detail work. It's a beautiful thing. So I got a link in the description below. You can sign up and get 7% off your first year membership. All right, back to our program. Okay, so step one, download Loopback and Black Hole. The links for both of those are in the description below. Okay, so download Loopback and Black Hole. Step two, set up your send and your monitor inside loopback. So let's talk about that. The send is what I am sending the Zoom call, okay? So you can uh, simply by clicking on this plus button, you can add your sources. So if I click on it, it gives me the option for all kinds of apps. So I have live here. So you can see when I push the push, you can see signal and Google Chrome, so if I play a YouTube page, hey, who's this guy? Same for Spotify over here. Hey, here's my new record. And then lastly, uh, my UAD, which is my mic. So you can see when I talk into it, it's sending it to you. So those all go to my output channels and I have monitoring off, okay? So set up your send and loop back with everything that you want and then turn the monitoring off and then make a second one that is basically a duplicate of it and it has monitoring on and this goes back to your interface. So now I can hear everything that I've been doing with YouTube and Spotify and my playing inside my headphones. Cool? So step one, download loopback and black hole. Step two, set up loopback. Now let's go to live real quick and see what we need to do there. So now with live, it's a very simple fix here. All we have to do is command comma, go to our preferences and select black hole. It's basically a dummy output. So then you don't get any duplication because you're monitoring through loopback in this whole situation, okay? Loopback is your mixer. That's what you're hearing. That's what you're sending to Zoom. That's what you're listening to. So 
uh, and loopback is listening to live already so we don't want live actually going anywhere but you have to select something if i say no device we won't get any audio out and then loopback will not hear it so that was step three changing your ableton live output in preferences now let's go to step four which is your zoom preferences here we go step four here are the zoom settings so what you need to do is change your microphone to your loop back send you can call this whatever you want this is what i'm calling it the send because i'm thinking of sending my audio to everyone else so i change that to loop back send and now when i click on share computer screen they can hear my audio. They can hear my audio the whole time because I'm mixing it. So they can hear my guitar, they can hear my microphone. Um, also a couple other things you might want selected below. High fidelity music mode, unless you're a lo-fi cat, just kidding. Turn it on high fidelity, even if you're a 24 seven lo-fi kind of person. Uh, and stereo audio. So now we can finally do panning and all that kind of super cool stuff, okay? And then there is one more thing on the actual Zoom website in the browser that you need to do as well. So let's look at that, that's step five. So step four is your preferences here. Change your microphone to loopback setting. Go on hi-fi music and stereo audio. Um, and I think that was all I had for this particular one, okay. Okay, last but not least, inside the Zoom settings inside the Zoom website. Go to your settings tab, go all the way down, allow users to select stereo audio in their client settings and allow users to select original sound. Cool, so you got all that set up. So now every time that you get ready to do this, there's only a couple things you do because you've done all the work. So if you've gotten through step one through five, follow me on step six, and this is just what you need to do every time you open up a Zoom, because you've done 95% of the work. There's just a couple little boxes to check off every time you do this. So let's do the final step, here we go. Okay, final step, you're in a Zoom session, so just make sure your Zoom settings are still uh, for loopback for your microphone that you're sending. Make sure that loopback is open and just make sure that those devices are turned on or those sources are turned on. And then when you share your screen, make sure you select this turn on original sound. So, oh, I forgot to do it. So let me try it again. Turn on original sound, share screen. I don't even have to hit share sound, okay. So now I'm all set up, I'm sharing my screen and I can do live playing or recording for the group or for whoever's on the call with me with little to no latency. So let's check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching my dad's videos. His name is Derek and he makes music as cloud chord like his hat. I'm also a guitarist and Ableton certified trainer. Every Tuesday I upload new videos. So if you learned something, be sure to like and subscribe. And his hat is really cool. <laughs> <laughs>